Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. Since I've reviewed some sci-fi films, I figured I would review a film by Tim Burton titled Mars Attacks. And I thought I would review this since, I mean yes, while Tim Burton was never my favorite director, but I felt like I should review more of his motion pictures and I think the last time I've done that was a while back when I reviewed the god awful live action version of Alice of Wonderland. Oh man, that was a big power of shit. But then again I'm a purist anyway and I did enjoy the original Alice of Wonderland. If it ain't broke, don't remake it. And it was definitely one of my top favorite Disney films ever. Anyway, like I said, I wanted to review more of his films anyway. So let's just get down to it, shall we? Like always, I do have to talk about the plot, so let's get into it, shall we? Oh yeah! This sci-fi comedy starts off in this country, this town I should say, where this family watches a herd of cattle running past their home having caught fire and a fine saucer leaving planet Earth. The ship explodes before it returns to Mars and now let's just say it gets pretty crazy because when hundreds of other Martian ships do leave Mars and head towards planet Earth. After they are discovered, President James along with his aides, I guess you can say, and the Army Generals address the United States of America concerning this historical event because it's pretty crazy. Oh yeah. So bottom line is that this film focuses on the fact that Planet Earth has been invaded by these evil Martians with unstoppable weapons and a cruel sense of humor. So again, this was meant to be a comedy anyway, so there was that. It just came off like an ordinary normal day for every citizen until the President of the United States makes a huge an announcement that Martians have been spotted circling around Earth, the Martians had landed in a particular area and a meeting has been scheduled of course and not every, everything goes out of schedule of course and the Martians seem to have other plans for Earth oh gee I wonder what they're gonna do they of course they wanna take over the world of course obviously for their own plans so that was that they are up to no good they pretty much just want to do their evil deeds and let's just say they just want to take over the planet. Yep, they're bastards. Well, who the fuck didn't see that coming? Yeah, of course, I did not like this movie at all. I thought this was a bad movie as a whole. There's some stuff that makes me want to cringe a little bit because I didn't get it, like, at all. Because I really thought that some of it, well, quite a bit of it, was actually pretty fucking stupid when I think about it. I've seen this film quite a few times and I still didn't like it at all. And if you were one of those people that didn't watch this movie at all, I would say stay away from it. This was one of his more popular films, it used to be on TV quite often. But personally folks, I thought it was terrible, there's nothing I really liked about it. I mean, yeah okay, some of the destruction scenes of certain landmarks and around the world were pretty cool, but that was about it, I guess. But then again, look at Michael Bay. He makes his films have lots of explosions, and his films still turn out to be garbage. During one of the destruction scenes later on in the film, folks, the dog does make an appearance, and that was about it. He doesn't fight the aliens or anything, which he has done in other monster movies, but in this one, he was just there. That's it, just there. Nothing more. With, and within the context of the film, it makes no fucking sense because it was just totally random. So, what was the entire purpose of this scene? I mean, it wasn't funny or anything. It was just there. What the fuck? That was just dumb. Don't get me wrong, folks. Tim Burton can make good movies. He does have that ability to, to make a good film. But, however, I just didn't like this film overall. I just thought it was just... I don't know. It was just trying too hard. I didn't like anything about it. I never gave a rat's ass about any of the characters at all and just it just didn't suit me well that really folks and I thought it was just dumb really really dumb overall what was the entire purpose of this film anyway was it supposed to be like a satire of the genre of sci-fi was that it was the point making a parody 
I'm guessing so, but even on that level, it still didn't work for me at all because I didn't find it humorous in any kind of way. The humor felt forced. I mean, some of the acting was okay, but even the even some of the good acting came out in some forced in some sort of ways. But still, folks, I didn't like this one all that much. And some of the special effects were good. I can say the special effects were quite good, even though it came out a while back. Sure, I'll give it that, but. Still, folks, I still didn't like it all that much, really. The writing style wasn't that good either, folks. It felt to intrigue me in any kind of way or shape or form. I just felt frustrated, if anything. It pissed me off because I wanted to like Tim Burton. I wanted to like Marvel's movies. Ah. Oh, so, yeah, I felt frustrated because I wanted to like Marvel's films. But at the end of the day, I really didn't like, like this film at all. And I know some people are going to tell me that I should give it another chance since I haven't seen it in years. But that's not going to happen at all, folks. I'd much rather smoke weed all day long than watch this hunk of shit ever again. I wonder if Alice Wonderland wants to give this a try. Yeah, come on, Alice. Now it's a party. Oh, yeah. Didn't like the story of this film, folks. It, the story itself really failed to capture my interest at all. A good chunk of the time, I was really bored actually. So there was that, so I didn't think this was a good movie really, folks. And this was definitely something I would avoid. And trust me, folks, I attempted to give this a shot, folks. I really, really did. And, and I know Tim Burton, I know Tim Burton, he wanted to make a good movie. And he's not a terrible director, if you ask me. He really isn't. But however, I just didn't think it was that good of a movie to begin with. The film is was obviously expensive to make and you can tell. And I can see that he was trying to make a good movie, which is fine of course. But I know he was not purposely making a bad movie at all. But I just didn't think it was good at all folks really. I mean it's like it's not exactly the worst I've seen. I've seen worse out there. Of course, and in my eyes, it Mars Attacks is considered as a bad movie as far as I'm concerned. I really didn't like it at all. The actors, even the good actors like J Jack Nicholson, yeah, Jack Nicholson is in this. I mean, he's not a bad actor, but majority of the time, even the good actors were really, really over the top. Almost the entire movie was over the top, and just really pissed me off in some ways because it didn't help the movie at all. That actually went against the film. I didn't like any of the human characters folks and I felt that this film lacked tension. The tension of this film was not that good really. I didn't feel there was no conflict really. I mean this film attempted to create some drama because a lot of the stuff was being destroyed so um, I'm guessing I was supposed to feel intense and whatnot, but still. I even felt that was really lacking overall, folks. I just didn't like how this film was done overall. So, I don't know, maybe just me, I guess. I didn't like it at all. The film itself was kind of a joke, if you ask me. At least that's how I took it. It felt like a joke, in a lot of ways. And yes, this was meant to be a parody. Yes, I know that, folks. I was not supposed to take it too seriously. Yes, I know that, folks. Don't get me wrong, I do know that this was meant to be as a comedy. I am fully aware of that. But, however, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to like it. Because, it depends on how it's done. I don't mind watching comedy, folks. If, you know, if it's meant to be funny, that's perfectly fine. I don't mind watching comedy or whatnot. I watch anything, even though horror films are mostly my thing. But, still, I watch anything from any genre. I get it, it's supposed to be a particular way and that's fine. But however, the film itself does not succeed in a lot of ways, especially in the story department. It's very straightforward, it is what it is, and it's fully aware of what it is. But even given that, I still don't like it at all. And I'm just thinking that maybe just me, maybe I'm just being a it was just a bad movie overall. I didn't want to review this movie at all, folks, because I don't want to come off I'm just bashing Tim Burton. But like I said before, folks, he's not a bad director. He's he's just not my favorite director, really. 
I give his movies a chance, of course. I won't. I don't want to be biased, so I just want to give his films a chance, regardless of what it is. And I know I pretty much gave him more of a bad reputation because I did review more of his bad films than his good films. But folks, just give me some chance, okay, folks? Give me some time. I will review some of his better films. Just give me some time, like I said. I will get to some of his better films over time. I will do it. Oh, yeah. He's been around for quite a while, and he does have a fan base. So I guess he must be doing something right, I guess. And he does have his own style of filmmaking, which I'm not complaining about, folks. Every filmmaker out there has their own style of making a movie, which is perfectly fine. And I guess this was his way to an experiment with comedy, I guess. Which doesn't seem too much of a stretch, really. Because he made other films like Beetlejuice. But honestly, I thought... Beetlejuice was a much better film than this. Um, well, at least I enjoyed that one a lot more. Maybe just me, I guess. But, so yeah, folks, I will honestly say I will skip this. I did not enjoy this film at all. I mean, okay, some of the destruction scenes were pretty cool. And, uh, the special effects were good. But that's like the only nice things I can say about it, really. The music itself was generic, very gen forgettable music, and the editing was decent, I guess. The editing was pretty decent. So yeah, folks, there's not much I can say uh, else I can say about this film other than the fact that I really did not care for it at all. So yeah, I thought it was just a bad movie overall, folks. Oh boy. I really wanted to like this film, but I just couldn't, folks. I really, really couldn't. At all. Mars Attacks gets an overall rating of a 4.0 out of 10. It gets a 4.0 out of 10 from me. As always, thanks for watching and take care. See ya. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Now, will you excuse me, folks? I'm just gonna smoke some weed with Alice. Sounds like fun to me. See ya.